there's a large iron door at the end. Let's, Let's take, take a, a look. look. Huh? What, what are, are you, you doing, doing Seven? Seven? Well, I figure maybe we might want to come back here sometime. So, I stuck the broom in there to keep the door from shutting. Alright, let's go. Jumpy, look! What's up? What's that on the wall there? Oh, I, I think it's... A map of the ship's interior? It says Sea Deck. So it's the map for this floor, then. We'll have time to study it later. Let's keep going for now. Ready? I'm gonna open it. What the? You're shitting me. We're back. Alright, sorry for the late video introduction. Welcome back to some more Zero Escape. Nine Lord, hours, nine Lord, persons, Lord, nine Lord, doors. I'm glad you're all okay. And I guess we're back. Uh, Lotus, what are you? Oh. How could you do this to us? <sighs> Knock it off. We got bigger shit to worry about right now. What? Go have a look. Um. I stuck the screwdriver in the door. That door over there, the one without a number. As long as the screwdriver's there and can't shut, you can get in there. There's a shower room past there. I stuck a broom at the door there, too. Anyway, go take a look. Then you're saying we can go in there without passing through the numbered door? Yeah, that's about the size of it. Wait, what the hell is in there? You'll know when you see it. Um... Fine, let's go. My goodness. I know I said I was sure you'd come back for me. I didn't think it would happen so soon, though. Should I go as well? Yeah, you probably should. Yeah, very well. <laughs> yeah, your brother's kind of dead, Clover, so... Snake was probably murdered. Chances are he was killed the same way the Ninth Man was. It's pretty straightforward. Not that hard to figure out how they did it. First, the killers got Snake to authenticate on the red to open door three. Then they shoved him into it. Alone. And waited nine seconds for the door to shut. Once that door shut, was all over for Snake, but he didn't give up. He probably knew it wouldn't do him any good, but he probably ran into the shower room looking for the dead. It was a small chance, but it wasn't like he had anything to lose. Unfortunately, it didn't work. The detonator is only deactivated if everybody who authenticated when they went in uses the dead. Snake was the only one who went through the door. And then, 81 seconds after he was shoved in. Yeah, he's dead. I see. So that's what you meant by killers, huh? You need at least three people to open one of the numbered doors, including Snake. It wouldn't open for Snake and a single killer. Yeah. That means we're looking at multiple perps here. Well, just in case, I want to make sure. Let's say you're right. When do you think Snake was killed? When we all split up to look for the parts for the Reds, I think. Right after that was when we noticed he was gone. And that means none of us have alibis. We were all off searching the rooms we'd been assigned, 
looking for those parts. Yeah. That means anybody could be a killer. Oh, shit. W wait a minute. What are you talking about? How can you say that so casually? You're implying that one of us is a killer. Actually, two. Well, not just one of us. If I'm right, then at least two of us are murderers. Why don't you calm down a bit, Seven? What are you going to gain by being so suspicious? That's what Zero wants, you know? What Zero wants? Exactly. This game was set up by Zero, wasn't it? Any game has a winner and loser. Whoever makes it through door nine is a winner, and those who don't are the losers. Zero is trying to make us fight against one another for that victory. Then you're saying that Zero is trying to split us up by making us fight each other? Yes. I don't think that's accurate, and it's... That is why we can't let ourselves fall prey to suspicion. We have to trust one another and form a strong bond of friendship. Otherwise, we'll end up ensnared by Zero's manipulations. Then does that mean that the person who killed Snake... Yes. Almost certainly Zero himself. No. That I don't buy. Even if you want to try to... I mean, he, he brings up some good points here. But I do not believe for one second that Zero killed Snake. Uh-uh. If there's anyone we should doubt, it should be Zero. He masterminded this game and kidnapped all of us. Doesn't it seem reasonable that he would have killed Snake as well? No, because then Snake never stood a chance to begin with, and why would he have given him the uh, note at the beginning to tell you how everything works? That doesn't make any sense. Good question. No, Junpei, not a good question. If Zero killed Snake, then Zero is on the ship with us. Well, I'm absolutely certain Zero's on the ship with us. I just don't think Zero is the killer. But I don't... Where could Zero be hiding? I think... I think Zero is... one of us. Yeah, that's... pretty accurate. But I also don't think Zero is the killer. No, I completely agree with Clover. Zero is absolutely one of them. I just don't agree with Ace's notion that Zero is the killer. Well, that's possible. Huh? Like Clover said, Zero might be one of us. What are you saying, Jumpy? I'm saying exactly what I'm saying, Akane. Zero is one of us. Zero faked their kidnapping. Didn't you hear what Ace said? Exactly. I said we shouldn't suspect one another for no reason. No reason. I've got a great reason. And what's that? The bracelets. Why are the bombs in our bodies connected to the bracelets? You're all thinking Zero's hiding somewhere watching us, right? If he's doing that, then he could just detonate the bombs by remote control if someone did something they weren't supposed to. It would be a lot more precise and a lot easier. But, if that's the case, then why is the bomb set off by the detonator in the bracelet? Yeah. Huh. You got a point. I'm not done. Try applying the same ideas to the nonary game. All of the puzzles here run all by themselves. In other words, Zero doesn't have to be controlling them for the game to move forward. 
Why is that? Why would Zero bother to do something like that? So let's say you and Clover are right. Zero's one of us. If that's the case, then it'd be really hard for him to keep track of all of us or control anything remotely. That's why all the puzzles run by themselves. That's what you're getting at, right? Yeah. Yeah. Seven, when we were talking earlier, you said any one of us could be Snake's killer, right? Yeah, something like that. All right, then. I've got a question for you, Ace. You said something like Zero must be the one who killed Snake, right? Yes, something like that. I can't think of any other explanation. So what do we get if we combine those? They fit together pretty well, I think. Something like this. Whoever killed Snake is Zero. Hence, Zero is one of us. Seven and Ace's theories aren't mutually exclusive. They actually complement each other pretty well. I don't agree with that notion, though. I think they're two different people. At least they do if Zero is one of us. Because it wouldn't make sense for Zero to kill people off if he's trying to make them play a game and actually give them a chance to escape. What were his motives? His motives? Yes, isn't that pretty important? Why would Zero want to hide as one of us? Oh, well, that's because, um, I don't know. They want it. Oh my god, that's not actually hard so to piece. So much for making a persuasive argument, Junpei. That's not hard to figure out. In other words, you only had circumstantial evidence. I don't really think that's enough to go on, you know? Ah. It's three in the morning. That means we have three hours left. Then we need to move now. Seven, Clover, Junpei, I know how you feel, but you do understand that right now it's important we trust one another, don't you? You're right, but... We must go. We have very little time left. Our next destination is Mercury. Here we go. Uh. Oh, that's the... Yeah, I found it in the shower room. Oh, I see. It's got the Mercury symbol. Now we can go. Looks like there's only two floor buttons working. C and bottom. Time to head down then. Numbered door. Yeah, it's door two. So who should go through the door this time? We don't need to be discussing who we're leaving behind this time, right? Right. It's set up so we'll be able to meet up again once we get through the numbered doors. Then there's no need for arguments at this point. Hmm. We should figure out who's going in first. Very well. Would anyone like to volunteer? I'll do it. I'll go too. And I suppose I need to go too then. All right. We're taking off. Okay. Please be careful. Jesus. You two are acting like you're married, you know that? <laughs> oh. Um. Jesus. <laughs> Don't be silly. Cut it out. Yeah. Let's do this. Where the hell is it this time? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. It's there. get used to that I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to hmm we should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal thing <laughs> damn right 
All right. This hallway's pretty short, but it's got five doors. Three on the left, and only one on the right. Don't forget the last one at the end of the hall. Uh, but it's got a metal plate over it, so I doubt we're going to get anywhere that way. All right, let's get started. I think we'd probably better split up. Is you okay with that? Yes, no problem. Sure thing. Then I'll take this first one. I'll try the one next to it. Well, I guess I'd better get started too. Intriguing. Emergence. Can't do anything with that, so probably should go to the last door then. <laughs> Fourteen equals E. Oh, hello. Wow. Well, nothing I can do in that room. Yeah, pull the damn thing. Or not, I guess. Well, that doesn't look very, uh...
Okay, so there's nothing to do there. Well, would you look at that? It's a screwdriver. Combine that with that. Combine that with this. That's what I was trying to do earlier, but you wouldn't let me. Oh, would you look at that? going on are you okay man Ugh. you're sweating like crazy are you all right uh. <sighs> what the fuck <sighs> yeah I'm fine just got a little dizzy that's all that's definitely more than just a little dizzy are you sure you don't look so good 
What am... What am I doing here? Huh? What are you talking about? We opened the number two door and walked in here. Don't tell me you forgot. No, no, that's... That's not what I mean. It ain't much, but... I think some of my memories came back. I, uh... I... I... I think I've been here before. The fuck? Uh... Uh... I said I've been in this room before. You were here? When? Why? Aoi. My Nona. What the hell was that? It's... It's right there. I feel like I'm this close to remembering everything, but I just can't. That's right, an experiment. There was some kind of experiment going on on this ship. An experiment? What? What, what sort of experiment? They were... <laughs> They were trying to control people. Or, or something like that. What the hell are you talking about? Aoi, Light, and Nona. Those were their names. Well, some of them. The kids that were in the experiment, I mean. I think there were four or five more. But I don't remember all their names. <sighs> yeah, that's right. That's why I'm here. <laughs> experiment. Cradle. Pharmaceuticals. The fuck is going on? Those kidnapped kids. Was I working that case? Huh? Wait, under this bed. Bones gone? No, maybe it was a different room. There's gotta be a ton of rooms on this boat that look just like this one. Hey, uh, what exactly do you remember? Maybe you could stop talking like a crazy person and tell me what's going on here. Well, it's not like I really remember everything. I've only got bits and pieces, and they're scattered, they don't make much sense. I don't care. Tell me the bits and pieces, then. Okay! From what I can remember, I think I was... a cop. A cop? Yeah. I was looking for that group of kids that got kidnapped nine years ago. You remember that, right? It was all over the news. Yeah, uh, I was still in school. I don't remember all the details, but I do remember some of it. I think it was a bunch of kids right around my age. They all just disappeared. Nobody knew why. It was all over TV and the newspapers every day. So you're saying you were investigating it? Yeah, that's what it looks like. I guess I found something. There was this medical company called Cradle Pharmaceuticals that had something to do with those kids. After I figured that out, I managed to get some information out of somebody who worked for them. I think it was... Tonight, a ship is set to take the children to a large passenger liner docked offshore. Yeah, that had to be it. That's why I went to the wharf. In the shadows, I searched the harbor until I found the ship he was talking about. There was a bunch of movement there. Men in black suits, many of them carrying large bags. Bags. There was something about the way they moved as they were carried. No doubt about it. There were human beings in those bags. I moved before I realized it. I came out of hiding with my gun already in my hand. Don't move. I felt metal touch the back of my head. Drop the gun. Digging the cold metal thing into my skull. There was nothing I could do. I did what he said and laid my gun on the ground. Then suddenly, there was a sharp pain in my neck. A needle. A drug. That was my last thought. My face hit cold concrete. I was out like a light after. Woke up on a hard floor. Damn it. Shit, my head hurts. Where am I? A small, shabby bed, a dirty sink, a toilet with no privacy. I'd seen it countless times as a cop. I'm in a cell, huh? 
Facing the toilet was a door set into the wall. I was still pretty woozy, but I made my way over to it. I pushed and pulled on it, but... <clears throat> it won't open. Not like I expected much else. It would be dumb enough to put me in a cell and leave it unlocked. Threw myself against the door a few times, but it wouldn't budge. I knew it. I gave up and made my way back to the bed, and sat down. I sat there for a very, very long time. <laughs> Who knows how long. Then, I heard a faint voice. The voice was far away. I couldn't understand what it was saying. But I could hear one. It was pretty high. Probably a little kid. Hmm. several I hear five or six maybe more where where are they coming from I pressed my ear to the wall and tried to listen through it no that's not it left it's coming from under the bed I hauled on the little frame and flipped the thing over was. The bed had hidden an air vent under it. A hole in the wall was covered by a metal grate. I dropped flat on the floor and peered through the grate. I couldn't see shit, but I knew it in my gut. This was where those voices were coming from. Hold up. Why are there kids here? But then what my inside man told me popped into my head. Tonight, a ship is set to take the children to a large passenger liner docked offshore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Am I on that ship? <sighs> it didn't matter. All I knew was I had to get to those kids. I checked out the metal grate. <laughs> Could I fit? I stuck my fingers in and grabbed it. And then... What the hell? How do you like that, you son of a bitch? I finally got the damn thing off. Sweat was dripping down my face, so I wiped it off and crawled inside. <laughs> hey, what happened after that? I don't... I don't remember what happens after that. I think I found some kind of door out of the duct. I think I found some kids, too. <sighs> Not good. Why can't I remember what happened next? Oh, man, what happened to the kids, Seven? Did you save them? I don't know. I don't know if it was me. I just... I've got this feeling. I think... one of the kids died. A girl, I think. Hmm... Huh? Anyway, just please don't ask me anymore, okay? I really don't remember anything else. It's fine. Don't push yourself. Going by what he said, the children who had been kidnapped nine years before, apparently a company called Cradle Pharmaceuticals had been behind it all. They've taken the children to the same ship we're on now. They've been brought here for an experiment. Seven said it had something to do with controlling human beings. The 16 children who had been kidnapped were the subjects. Seven had said three of their names were Aoi, Light, and Nona. I think that's all I got. Oh, and that Seven is, or was at some point, a cop. I can't really use any of this information anyway. I mean, there's a very good chance that Zero's one of the kids. The same ship where they've done those experiments nine years ago. Just what the heck is this about controlling human beings? That's nuts. Did they really? 
really conduct an experiment like that? I don't have time to just stand here thinking. I need to get moving. Sun and moon. Forty seven. Sun is four, moon is seven. What do I gotta do with this towel again? Oh, that ain't got nothing to do with it. Neither does that. <laughs> this one was the moon. Well, would you look at that? Two more tiles.
I think this is pretty obvious, right? There. That's going to be where we do it for this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and until next time, peace.